Is living in Germany as a student expensive? This is gonna be an honest breakdown of my monthly expenses as a university student in Germany. Right now, I'm living in Germany's most beautiful yet most expensive city, Munich, and I'm studying computer science and design. So to really get to know all my monthly expenses, I decided to open my bank account and look at all my transactions for last month. Here is what it looked like. Even though I love walking, you cannot get to all places by foot. Unfortunately, I have a lot of choices when it comes to public transportation in Germany. And as a university student in Germany, you get access to a student ticket, which is a real blessing. Public transport for students is pretty cheap in Germany because of the discounts we get. We can buy the cheaper version of the Germany ticket. The Germany ticket basically gives you unlimited rides on Germany's regional and long distance trains for the entire month. And as long as you have the student status, you can use this ticket. And the ticket system in Germany is, let's say, not the most elegant solution. <clears throat> so just having to carry around one ticket is quite convenient. Because yes, in Germany they check if you have a ticket. And if you get caught without one, you get fined 60 euros, which hurts when you are a broke student. This actually moves us closer to the poverty line, so be careful guys. So every month I spent a total of 29 euros on public transport. Going to university, coming back from university, going to university. No Uber, no taxis, no scooters. The biggest monthly expense is probably groceries and food. And this includes the things I bought at the supermarket and also the times I went out to restaurants. And groceries are considered very affordable in Germany compared to other EU states. We produce a lot of food in the country and big supermarkets are basically everywhere. Edeka and Rewe are probably my favorite ones at the moment. And to have a well-stocked fridge during the entire month, I get all my groceries delivered once every two weeks to my my doorstep. I like buying things in bulk because I created a solid meal plan for the month. So there are days for my fridge just looks like this. Getting food delivered might sound like a luxury, but in reality, at least with my delivery service, if you pick a certain weekday as the delivery date and spend more than a certain amount, in my case, I think it's 50 euros, the delivery is free. And all the items in the app literally cost the same as in the supermarket. So I thought, why not save some time and hustle here? Trust me, you don't want to go to the supermarket during the German winter and carry home 10 kilograms of groceries. I used to do that. It's it's not a very fun activity to do. You know your hands and face feel numb because it's really cold and you forgot to bring gloves. It's already getting dark at 4 p.m. and it's raining at the same time. Like going to the grocery store and back was literally a mission. German winters are brutal. What I also do is order some food related products on Amazon every month. For example, this 5 liter olive oil that should last for a couple of months and a lot of packs of pea protein powder for the gains. I place quite some importance on my body's health, so I try to buy good quality organic food most of the time. And it might be a bit more expensive, but for me, it's worth the extra euros. I used to live on cheap pasta and rice for a long time. I recently started to switch things up a little bit by eating more eggs and fish. I also don't drink coffee and alcohol. No Starbucks latte every two days, no wasting money in the club. I used to do that too many times in the past. At the moment it's just water and occasionally I enjoy some good tea. I cook most of my meals at home, breakfast, lunch and dinner and also bring food to university. I eat out about once a week, usually on the weekend with friends. So when I add up all my food costs, this month I spent a total of 256 euros and 45 cents. I don't know if that's a lot, for me it's quite a reasonable amount when it comes to eating out and buying groceries in Munich. At the beginning of each month I typically get charged for my subscriptions. One is iCloud 50 gigabytes per month and the second one is an Adobe Lightroom subscription to edit all my pictures and a subscription for my Aura Ring, a health and sleep tracker and an Amazon Prime student membership only for one month. So all the subscriptions amount to, wait, let me, let me do some math. <laughs> My Asian parents are gonna be so disappointed. I'm gonna get slapped with this. I spent 17 euros 57 cents that month on subscriptions. So when it comes to rent, I am in a very fortunate position. I don't have to pay for my own rent at the moment. I'm incredibly grateful to have supportive parents who gave me this opportunity and I'm still a full-time student at the moment. I don't have a full-time job yet. So I guess this is justifiable. But if you were to pay rent in Munich, you typically look at 400 to 1000 euros. 
depending on where you live. As a student, you have a lot of different options. Sharing an apartment, living in a student accommodation, etc. Living in the city center is really expensive, but when you go out a little bit further away from it, the apartments become substantially cheaper. Munich is Germany's most expensive city and the rent prices are crazy. And there are not many apartments available. That's the problem. There is currently a full-on bloody fight going on for the small number of apartments that are available. So at the moment I live with a housemate and I realized that this reduces the rent and also the cost of other miscellaneous things in the house. You know, toilet paper, garbage bags, and these little things we tend to overlook, but they still count as an expense. I usually split these things with my housemate, 12 euros in total for this month. There are other things I bought that month that I could not really fit into a category, so I labeled them just miscellaneous things. I bought a birthday present for my friend, which cost me 26 euros, and also a birthday present for another friend, 16 euros 39. There's still quite some birthdays coming until the end of this year. I also bought these blue light blocking glasses for myself to improve my sleep quality, 21 euros. I actually only use one single credit card for all my purchases, so that I have a good overview of my spending, and a fixed portion of my money goes into investments every month. But since this is technically not an expense, I'm not gonna include it here. Investing is gonna be the topic of a future video. So the next thing is education. You might have heard that education is free in Germany, and yes, that is actually true. Public universities in Germany are usually tuition free, but you need to pay a small semester fee of 85 euros, which is nothing compared to the crazy student loans in other countries. <clears throat> but I also have to pay 85 euros, so wait, let me do some math again. This costs me 14 euros 16 per month. If you live elsewhere in Germany, I believe the cost of living is going to be a bit cheaper. No, you won't be paying 1000 euros for a single bedroom apartment. It, it just nuts in Munich. There are four very expensive cities in Germany. Frankfurt, Hamburg, Berlin and Munich. I'm not saying that you should avoid living there, but be aware of the difference compared to smaller cities. Small cities, by the way, can also be really nice. I currently work two jobs on the side to have some sources of income to combat all the money that is flowing out. And to be disciplined with my money, I also have a fixed budget for my monthly expenses. I'm trying to keep them below 350 euros. So when I add up all the expenses in this video, my total monthly spend as a university student in Germany comes to 363 euros and 56 cents. And this would be the amount if you were to factor in rent in Munich. That month I went slightly over my budget, but I think it was the birthday presents that caused all of this. And of course my spending can fluctuate and change from month to month, but overall that is a pretty realistic amount for me. I'm personally quite a minimalist guy, I don't need a lot of fancy material possessions to be happy, so I avoid overspending whenever possible. You really don't need to spend excessive money on things you don't need to impress other people. And especially as a student, we should really be careful of what we spend our money on to avoid developing bad spending habits. I also made a video about how to save money as a student and a bunch of other ones about studying in Germany, student life and finances. We also have a big Discord community with amazing people. Love you and stay focused.